those years ago that never fade away. I am back home and so excited to start off this vlog because we have such a fun next few days ahead of us. I know I say that every time, but I have some friends coming in town, Rachel and Anna. You guys may know Rachel from YouTube. If you follow her, Rachel Vin, you definitely should. They are visiting me here in Texas for the next few days, and I'm so excited to show them all around Texas. We're doing a couple nights in Dallas, a couple nights in Austin. They're here through Monday. It's Thursday when I'm starting this video, and so I just cannot wait. We have been wanting to do this for such a long time, and so I'm so looking forward to it. Their flight gets in tonight at around 8 o'clock. And so I'm spending today prepping for them to come tonight with a little chaotic twist though because we literally landed from Hawaii at 6 a.m. this morning. We had a red-eye flight and I definitely thought that we were getting home the day before. <laughs> so I basically have been up for a while. I did sleep on the plane and thankfully we did buy nicer seats that was our Christmas present to each other so we could sleep on this red eye and so I did get probably five to six hours of sleep but it wasn't the best sleep so I'm feeling a little bit drained I was working on a video this morning so it's noon when I'm starting this but it was honestly such a nice flight and I wanted to share this story because the flight attendant it was so funny I was getting off the plane and she was so sweet the whole time she was just such a great flight attendant but she was like do you watch Gossip Girl I was like yeah I watch Gossip Girl and she said just a few seats back Chase Crawford is getting off the plane right now like he's been on this flight the whole time which if you don't know Chase Crawford was Nate from Gossip Girl he was on the flight the whole time which was crazy I saw him get off I haven't really seen that many famous people before I just thought it was such a funny coincidence that he just happened to be on that same flight from Honolulu to Dallas very odd but now I'm running some errands for prepping for the girls to get here I need to clean the apartment I still need to unpack I just picked up some groceries from Whole Foods I just did a pickup order so I didn't have to go in or anything which was nice but I also want to run to Party City because Rachel recently hit 100k on YouTube and so I wanted to get her balloons that have 100 on it if they have those and then I also want to pick up some cupcakes to put like a 100 candle in it just to celebrate her when she gets here tonight. Gonna make dinner too tonight in case they want to eat dinner at the apartment and yeah definitely a little bit chaotic today but in the best way possible. They're great friends and I've just been looking forward to this so let's go ahead and get ready for them and I will take you guys along with I think this is just gonna be through Monday when they leave so kind of like a days of my life maybe a week of my life also I am really feeling like a crust today because my skin is so dry from the plane I have self tanner peeling off my skin I think I'm the only person who got paler coming back from Hawaii because I lathered myself in sunscreen and so I'm just not feeling the cutest today but tomorrow we're gonna regroup get a good night's sleep it'll all be okay but for now ignore this ignore my random hair that's still wet, drying from my shower. It is what it is. I ended up being closer to a crumble as opposed to a sprinkles cupcakes. And so I picked up some cookies instead. They look so good. That one sugar cookie that's covered. And then we have Rocky Road, chocolate chip. And then this one's confetti. Looks delicious. We're just gonna put the candles in one of these. away our fridge is looking very stocked because I actually got stuff before we left for the girl who was watching cash and I still have a lot of that food left and so I didn't realize that I really didn't need to get that much stuff so we have a lot of food which is great now I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning again I did a really big deep cleaning session before we went on the trip because someone was staying at our apartment and it's still relatively clean I just need a vacuum I want to vacuum the couch since they'll be sleeping on the couch I'm washing some linens right now and then just clean the bathroom like the shower the sinks toilet and then probably wipe down the windows and mop so it'll probably take me a couple of hours but it's really not that that bad it's not too intense Well, 
also have to feed the starter because it has been in the fridge while we were on our trip. And this little saucer thing that I'm using, I made this in one of those paint pottery things that you can do. That was the worst description ever. But I was thinking that I would not really have a use for this. And then the other day I was doing my starter, I was like, oh my goodness, this is the perfect use for using it when I need to pour my water in. I usually just keep it in the fridge if I'm not gonna be able to feed it for a week and it'll be fine in the fridge for a week. And then usually just takes a few feedings and then it's usually ready to bake with. So just wanted to make sure to keep this thing alive because it has been quite a few months that we've kept this going, probably almost a year at this point. So can't let it die. The place is all clean. I also went ahead and curled my hair just so it'll be done for tomorrow or I'll just have to lightly curl it. And now I'm gonna make dinner. I'm making these sticky honey garlic meatballs from Half Baked Harvest. I've never made this recipe before, but it also includes roasted broccoli. I'll probably also do rice with it too. It doesn't seem too complicated. I'm gonna go ahead and double it just in case they wanna eat when they get here. I imagine they'll probably have eaten before because they're getting in at like 8.15, but just in case, I think it's nice to have some extra. in the car i'm headed to the airport i'm so excited right now and i'm mostly just so excited because i feel like we haven't had that many people visit us here in dallas just means a lot that they book the flights and we're gonna have so much fun so let's go pick up rachel and anna okay so which way should we do this Um, like probably from where he's standing. Yeah. Okay, what if I okay. he held yes. it? Like, I was just thinking that. I can do whatever. Oh yeah, it's looking good. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna take a walk. It's a numbers game. <laughs> yes, a good Instagram husband knows. All right, thank you everybody. Beautiful. Yay. Snug as a bug in a rug. We started the morning off at the Stockyards, which is a quintessential Fort Worth destination. We went around 11.30 because they actually do a Longhorn cattle drive through the main street, which is always really fun to see. I think I dig it. Hello guys. I got my friends here. We got Rachel and Anna and what I'm up? just giving them the Texas tour. We just got back from the stockyards. I packed them very <laughs> lousy breakfast because I didn't want to miss the cattle because the cattle come through at 1130 and we didn't miss it. No, so she's literally out. the best host. She really, like she aw. just like presents food and I'm like, mm, give it to me. What'd you guys think? It was a 10 out of 10. I feel like I'm really getting the Texas experience. Yeah. And I'm excited to ride horses and ride a mechanical bull. Oh yeah, that's that's on our list too. I need to find a place. I like this mine so everyone's nice. They Everyone is smile nice. at you. Anna and I were talking about Yellowstone in one of the stores and this girl just starts talking to us and she owns a ranch in Montana. What are y'all most excited for on the Texas tour? Me, like I said, horseback riding mm -hmm. and we had really good barbecue. So I'm looking forward to eating more food, torchies. Yeah. Torchies is, is on the list too. That'll be tomorrow for lunch. Cause I'm we're excited. going to Austin. I'm very excited. Yes. Just happy to be with Michelle. Aw, <laughs> it is so much fun. Cause we talked about this for a while and it's just fun that y'all are actually here. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, I say more hanging out than things particularly oh but i'm pro all the walks that we've done too yeah steps we've obtained 
That is true. We have been walking. Yeah. I like it. And I think we're about to go to Boot Barn because Rachel's trying to find boots. So that's the next stop. And then I think we're going to walk the Katy Trail in Dallas too. We got some more driving, but... We also stopped by Boot Barn because we were looking for some boots on a pretty sweet deal for Rachel and we couldn't find any at the stockyard. So she did find a pair at Boot Barn that was super cute. We are headed out. We're going for a little walk on the Katy Trail. It's about four o'clock right now. It's a beautiful day. Gonna get a good walk in. Steps. Rachel's really excited about I'm so it. so excited. She's excited to go do you some cardio. You guys like bandana? She still has to keep the Texas fit on. Yeah. It looks great. Scared. We just got back from our little four mile walk and now we're headed to, of course, the, the Katie, Katie Trail, Trail Ice House. House. That was kind of cringe. <laughs> we're going to go get dinner. If you guys watch the vlogs, you know that Katie Trail Ice House is a must have. I feel like you guys got a good taste though. We got brisket and now did you tell them that we walked four miles i did say we walked four miles and rachel had a blast she really enjoyed I it i know that's typical for michelle but for me that's i don't go that far usually though and then anna tomorrow is gonna do a 10 mile run i'm wearing michelle's jacket and we might all join too Puffa. everyone's gonna join everyone's gonna join yeah. the floridians didn't bring jackets <laughs> so true. good thing we got plenty of puffers <laughs> <laughs> After we ate, we stopped by Highland Park Village, which has a beautiful light display right now. I believe they are up all throughout January and they're just really awesome to see. Okay, Saturday morning. Next up on our journey is Waco, Texas and also Austin. We are stopping by the silos on the way down. So should be good. We went to La La Land this morning, got some coffee. Anna's ready in the hat and we are off. Of course, you got queso. This queso is amazing. It's their first Torchies experience. We're currently about an hour away from Austin, or probably like hour and 15 minutes. And I am pumping gas at Bucky's. Rachel and Anna just went in. If you guys don't know, Bucky's is a whole experience. I don't think it's just a Texas thing anymore, though. But it's basically a giant gas station. They have food, they have gifts, really clean bathrooms. And so it's always a road trip necessity. So I had to stop. Just got to our Airbnb, it is super cute. I also picked up this hat at Bucky's for our horseback riding adventure tomorrow. I love all their plants. Got a big kitchen, got our bathroom. This is the one downstairs. And then you come over here. Do, 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 do. I'll link this place down below too, cause I definitely think it, I mean, so far we haven't stayed here yet, but it's definitely, a great location too in Austin. I think this is where Rachel and Anna are gonna stay. Got a hammock out here, backyard. Got another bathroom, super duper clean. This is the second bedroom. Then in here, got another bathroom. But we are gonna unpack our stuff, settle in. I think grab some dinner later tonight after the drive. Just chill out for a little bit, but. Super cute. Just freshened up a little bit. We are headed to dinner here soon. We're going to a place called Ski Shores, which is in like the West area of Austin. And it's one of our favorite Austin restaurants. So gonna take the boot check. These are Rachel's new boots from Boot Barn. Boot Barn. They're real cute. She did not. <laughs> Jeez, I'm feeling myself. You, you look cute. You're like, please. Awesome. Perfect. Yes. Justin, on your knees. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Tim, yes. Yes. Uh, Justin. <laughs> 
After dinner, we stopped by the Broken Spoke, which is an iconic honky tonk with live music and dancing, and we just had so much fun here. This was definitely one of my highlights. got ready for horseback riding. Rachel yeah. is definitely more in the vibe. Where's this shirt from? Simple Retro. They make like really cute old fashioned clothing. Mm -hmm. Check them out. Do you think you're gonna be cold? I'm probably gonna be cold. We're gonna be a little chilly. We got some nice sun too. Should be a good time. Ow. After riding, we had lunch at Vinaigrette, which was super fresh. I'd actually never been here, but it's definitely one of my new favorite Austin restaurants. We also strolled down South Congress. We grabbed coffee at Joe's and just popped into some stores around here. We then got dessert at Gordeaux's, which has the most delicious donuts that are piled with some really amazing toppings. We had a wild ride, no pun intended today. Actually, it wasn't that wild. I would say, what would you rate it out of 10, our experience today? <laughs> Hold on. Was it what you were expecting going into it? It was kind of exactly what I was expecting. <laughs> a mom and a daughter mm -hmm. in the middle of nowhere running this horse thing. You expect the horses to be tame, you expect everything to go smoothly. And it was like that for the first half of it until all of a sudden it wasn't. Thankfully all of our horses were pretty good. When we get to the trail, Anna can like talk to a brick wall. She's so great at making conversation. And this girl is right next to us when we're putting on our helmets, which we weren't expecting to have to wear. But thankfully we did because these horses were a little crazy. And Anna's trying to strike up a conversation. I noticed we have very similar watches on, so I asked her, I was like, oh, is that a such and such Garmin? No. <laughs> and she goes, did you bring the cash? <laughs> that was like the only thing they said to us when we walked up. They were Anna. not very friendly. <laughs> no, which I've done a decent amount of trail rides in my life, and usually they're like super friendly, they want to teach you about the horses, and it's also pretty expensive too. You're kind of paying for the full Atmosphere. experience. It's like $100 for an hour. Yeah, and this was like we had said in the beginning of this vlog, this was a thing that everyone was supposed to I knew, I knew this was gonna happen. You guys had it like so high up. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Because I got to run around on the horse. Anna's horse at one point was trying to get around the horse that was bucking and she just starts taking <laughs> off and trotting. So I just think we kind of went into it with high expectations and it didn't necessarily. Rachel was a little nervous up. at the beginning too. No, you, you didn't hear it. She was like, which, who has like the least amount of experience? <laughs> or who's so the most scared? scared? Yeah, yeah. Like, she is. I'm not you, like, scared. <laughs> now we're about to go do the 360 overlook hike. All trails gives it really good reviews. But I got a little nervous looking at all trails because I started seeing a lot of those reviews about car break-ins. I know. <laughs> well, the Camry looks like it's been there. <laughs> so. The girls are a little bit nervous by the fact that I tend to hit some curbs every now and then. And for dinner, we had Matt's El Rancho's, which is probably one of the most popular Mexican restaurants in Austin, and it is always really good. Cheers. Good morning, it is Monday. We are headed back to Dallas today. If I sound congested, it's because every time I come to Austin with the cedar trees, I get such bad allergies, and I have 
such bad congestion right now but it's purely because of the cedar trees here though just are insane in january i feel like my allergies get the worst and so I'm definitely feeling it this morning but we have a three hour drive and then i'm dropping off rachel and Anna for their flight which is definitely bittersweet i feel like this time has gone by so fast yeah we're gonna go to another coffee shop this morning and head out of austin but it's been fun last night i didn't end up vlogging too much we went to a pickleball place that was also a winery it was over near spicewood and we also hung out with our austin friends too which was fun time to head back just packing up i am back home now i came home to a couple of packages so i wanted to share what i got first things first this is actually something that i rented in my newly but i decided to order for myself because i loved it so much and i also wanted to get a different color so i got this Free people knit one piece. I ordered this in a coral color in my newly and I really, really loved it. This is actually an extra small though and I ordered a small in my newly and I felt like the small was a little bit too big. So we'll see if the extra small fits a little bit better. We'll try this on, but I love the yellow colors. This was just so cozy. And this was actually an order that I placed for Hawaii. It didn't come in on time. But this was from a boutique and these things are so sweet. I don't remember the exact name of the boutique, but I will link both these things or the few of these things down below. The first is just this tiny little crochet bag. I honestly thought that this was a little bit bigger, but I still think it's super cute. It's just like a tiny little purse and it has little roses on it. But yeah, I definitely thought that this was gonna be a little bit bigger. Might end up returning that, I do think it's cute. And then this one I just love because I basically only carry around this Brooklyn and tote bag. It's pretty used and beat up, but I thought that this one that has the little smiley face on it was just super fun. And I love the look of just a little sack like this. I just end up throwing in all my stuff. I really like this. This is really nice quality. It's just super cute knit tote. Definitely gonna use that. And then also I shared that I got this green set from Amazon for Hawaii, but I didn't end up liking it too much. And this was actually the set that I was wanting to get. It's the same thing, but in pink. And I love it. I think that this could be a PJ set or just like a cute loungewear set, but this is definitely cuter. I think I like the pink a lot more. Yeah, this is really, really cute. Just has long bottoms and long sleeve top. Super duper cute. I feel like this vlog was probably a bit of a blur and that is because I am definitely a bit of a blur right now. The past few days were so much fun with Rachel and Anna. If you guys watched my last video on my 2023 goals, one of my goals for this year is just to host more. This was actually a goal last year, but I didn't do the best job at it. And so I'm trying to be better at just welcoming people in, having people over, and it was so much fun. And I feel like my soul is just enriched in a way that I can only really get through those solid girl friendships and it was so much fun. I cannot believe that I met Rachel and Anna through the internet. It's crazy. It always makes me so thankful for YouTube, but they're just such sweet friends. I don't think I got the most adequate vlog clips because I really was trying to be present. It's funny because we did so many organized things. I tried to share some Austin things some Dallas things, but the things that I enjoyed the most were just hanging out in the car, chatting, having late conversations, like especially last night after we were hanging out with um, some of our Austin friends, we drove back and just had those good belly laugh moments where your abs actually feel sore, so you're just laughing so hard. It was just so much fun and it was so sad to drop them off. I will admit that I'm feeling pretty drained. I was going to continue this vlog. It's only one o'clock, but I really am just going to edit, put the house back together and kind of just get back into the swing of things. As you saw, I just got back from Hawaii too. So <laughs> my body is just ready for some sense of normalcy, some routine. And so I'm excited to get back into it, but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. And I wanted to share this vlog just to encourage you guys to spend time with friends. We were talking a lot about kind of the things that we struggle with the most. And I share a lot about how I find that I don't make time for stuff like this as much. I really do focus on a lot of work stuff and honestly a lot of stuff about me in terms of wanting to focus on my workouts and my routine and kind of like the orderliness that friendships are something that I definitely want to prioritize more because I think especially as an adult you really do have to make time for that. That and family and just spending time with people 
and of course we're always learning and it's easy to ebb and flow too much in one direction or the other. I'm always so thankful to hang out with friends. I never regret it. And I just wanted to encourage you guys that it can be difficult to find those friends that you really click with, but once you find them, like hold fast to those friendships and spend time on them because it is really good for us. And I'm telling that to myself too, if you're someone who can often forget about that but thank you guys so much for being here i'll definitely have some more videos just at home back in the routine the normal stuff but every now and then it's good to diverge and just do something different so thank you guys for being here and of course too if you want to check out rachel's channel i'll have her link down below i would definitely recommend watching her videos she is just the funniest her videos are so well produced and she's just also a great friend so i'll have her down below and i will catch you guys in my next video bye friends